What's up YouTube? I'm Alpha Prime and welcome back to the channel and today I've done a sort of toy hunt. Uh, I'll show you just exactly why I have to travel a little bit further just to go on a proper toy hunt. You'll see the sort of stuff that's sort of available to me locally and for what I collect not much point. So I do have to travel a little bit to go on proper toy hunts which is why most of the time I sort of buy a lot of stuff online, which is unfortunate. But if you stick around later, I did get some stuff that I had misplaced. Uh, they were buried under other sort of stuff. And we'll have a wee quick look through that just to see what sort of things I have there. And we also have a couple of boxes to open. So look forward to that. But here is what is available to me locally. As you can see there's not a lot locally available uh i've seen that beast war cyber shark i already have a beast war cyber shark but just the fact that they got something like that was actually fantastic uh, there's never usually any transformers worth you know what i collect um about me very often so we're going to open up these couple of boxes um we'll start with this one and if i can find my knife So we'll start with this one. I'm not sort of out of screen for you, but it's a fairly decent package size wise. Um, there we go. Uh, some tip stuff and stuff. I've actually been waiting for this set. Um, for my X-Men shelf, so um, 
There's only a few more figures that I'm actually looking for my X-Men shelf. Ah, you've actually seen it now already anyway. But Professor X, um, it comes with this chair and stuff out there. So that means a lot. I have been watching the X-Men 97, really enjoying that series so far. And good to see, well, oh, now I'm gonna spoil it for anybody. But I wanted to get this here set now. I know it's been out for a long time. Uh, I didn't buy it when it initially sort of came out, but I seen that one of my online retailers that I buy from uh, got in some more of these and it was at a reduced price. So it's sort of perfect for me at this stage. So got Professor X for the X-Men shelf. I think I have Sabretooth pre-ordered that two pack with Wolverine and I am getting the Juggernaut. I think that's the only other one that I really want for my X-Men collection. Now I know it's not a complete X-Men collection, but it's all the characters that I want. So now we have another package. And this one is a set that has been going on for quite a long time now. Um, in fact, very long. I can't even remember the last time we had one of them. It was over a year, possibly approaching two years. But we finally, if I can get it out of this box, finally has the next, has the next, have the next aerial box from Fans Toys. Uh, I'm not collecting the Stunticons for Fans Toys. I have the X Trans bots and they're, they're good enough for me. Um, but I did want the, I know you can see the Zuda Superior on there, but I did want the aerial bots because after Grimlock and the Dinobots, it, it's the aerial bots for me and Predaking um, are my next, my top sort of bots. Like, so it actually is Grimlock, Predaking, Superior come in their combined forms, but obviously to get the combined forms, you have to have the individual bots. Now they only have one more to go for this set. And then that is me out uh, for that sort of things. It'll be interesting to see how they actually combine because none of the fans toys combiners actually have a complete set yet. Uh, X Transbots have the completed Menasaur and Zeta obviously has the complete superior on. So, Really, I'm, I get these guys because I want nice ones to pose in robot mode. So that's sort of what I'm with with fans toys. Now, I don't do it with the rest of them. I'm only getting one Bruticus, one Defensor, one Menasaur, which I have all Bruticus, I have all Menasaur. And I think I'm a couple, what, three bots away from completing Defensor. So um, as I say, this here is definitely... I've been looking forward to this and I believe there's something about these blue panels that they're not with this but it'll come with the final one and you get a nice little picture on the back of the team. So we're just waiting on Slingshot now to complete the Pad Toys Aerial Bots and hopefully we're not going to have to wait another two years. So last but not least let's go through this little bag of treasures. Um, this little thing I think it, the lids came off it and it's emptied out quite a bit of stuff so you've got like little rocket packs for Star Wars I believe that is a sort of a Yu-Gi-Oh figure from way back when this is all stuff that I had when I was younger I believe this is off that dude from Small Soldiers I think I could be wrong but Archer I'm not sure um, the leader of the Gorgons and then I've got some of these wee Star Wars stands, which actually will help with actually getting my Star Wars figures to stand up. Because they really struggle to stand up. Um, uh, we have a piece of Piccolo's cape. Let's see what else we've got. We have the Insecticon. I believe this is from Transformers Prime. Um, I love APC toys to give us a proper full-size insecticon i don't know why they haven't yet because uh i think it's a missed opportunity in my opinion because um people are going to buy multiple they're going to buy at least two maybe three um because they were like a, a i don't know what you, what you would call them but just an army of insecticons so 
Uh, I definitely think very missed opportunity there. And I have no idea this guy's call, but I believe it is from the Bayverse missile launcher. Don't remember the name of this guy. If you guys know the name of him, let me know in the comment section below. But these are like really older sort of figures for me. I think it's based off a mold from like Transformers Cybertron or something, I believe. Could be wrong again, but that's pretty cool. We have more of these. Um, we have a Darth Vader with the removable helmet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully the rest of the helmet is in here somewhere. Well, there is that part of the helmet. We just need the mask now. We have Darth Sidious. Let's see, I knew I had those figures, but I could not for the life of me find them. And we have a Minicon. I'm not 100% sure who that belongs to. Whose Minicon is that? Don't know. Again, comment section below. Let me know who that is. Um, another Minicon. We have Django Fett. Um, Death Tell it's from the older sort of series. I think this is when back when it came out and a gun is a little warped, but it's been lying in a bag all scrambled up. And we have another minicon. I have no idea where these come from. I wonder if do they combine? No idea. We have Darth Sidious is like our force lighting. We have a little Gimli figure from Lord of the Rings. The other thing that my collection is definitely a lot more uh, focused. Focused is the word I'm looking for. Got another Star Wars figure and I just for the life of me can't remember his name. Anybody remember him? Um, now I'm pretty much, I have a couple of Marvel, some Marvel Legends, I have Spider-Man stuff, I have X-Men, I have my Gundams, but the rest of my collection, I have, well, I have a fairly, pretty good Star Wars collection, not amazing or anything massive or anything like that there, but for me, oh, find another bit of Piccolo's, but, um, for me, it's, it's very good, um, we have Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. Excellent. Need them for the wee Star Wars shelf. Um, it's, it's a decent enough Marvel or Star Wars collection. I have G1 Frenzy. And he's nice and loose. Um, very good. I knew I had this somewhere too. That I just could not find it. And last but not least. Oh, no, no. We have... And G1 Power Master Genrai. Um, no idea. I never owned Power Master Optimus, so I'm not even sure how I ever managed to have this unless somebody left at my house years ago and I just end up having it. I'm not sure, but that is the Power Master for him. Very cool, and it is original. Definitely. Really, really nice to have. But now, last but not least, it's all wrapped up in here. This one I was really gutted that I thought I had lost, to be fair. Um, just could not for life me find it. So it was, I, I loved it whenever I actually came across this bag. Um, but it is G1 Octane. And that was so cool. I've got his shield and his weapon. So he is complete. Sticker could possibly do with a little bit, but in general, really, really nice. Uh, I have all three of the Decepticon triple changers, um, just because I think they're really, really cool. But I'm really, really happy that I actually found this guy. And really, 
I, I was I was gutted to be honest that I thought I had lost them. So let's see if we can maybe transform them, can we? Uh, it's been a long time since I messed with this guy. Like I says, thought I'd lost them. So, so happy that I haven't lost them. Oh, popping off bits. I hope it's popped off and not snapped off. Yeah, I think I'll actually just be not sure. Man, it has been a while since I transformed this dude. I think that's it. Possibly not. There is Octane in his robot mode. And I says, love the Decepticon triple changers. Uh, they were really, really cool in the show. And so happy now that I haven't lost him. Because uh, he's actually a really, really awesome figure to have. So my G1 Octane. Very happy to finally find him. And that's it for today's episode, guys. A little bit longer, but it was just that sort of little find of a baggie. I still have a box uh, of sort of figures that I had from my childhood in the attic. If you're interested in me doing a video just based on that tub, you know, looking through all the sort of stuff that I had as a kid that have been just away in storage, there's probably a few Transformers in there as well. I need to really get through that. I think there's a couple of Dragon Ball Z figures in it. Uh, just bits and pieces, random sort of stuff in a tub that I put up in an attic and forgot about. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in that sort of video, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, stay awesome.